This is a response to the lean mass hyperresponder developed by Dave Feldman, later joined by Nick Norwitz and Adrian Sotomoto. We're going to explain how an Oreo cookie diet can lower LDL by 71% in 16 days. Low carb ketogenic diets elevate LDL and inactivate brown adipose tissue, leading to insulin resistance and mitochondrial dysfunction. The Oreo study proves brown fat activating diets normalize and significantly lower LDL rapidly and is the most potent LDL lowering strategy. The combination of foods used with the Oreo diet made it a brown fat activating diet. Milk, dark chocolate, and nuts activate brown adipose tissue. Olive oil in lean individuals will stimulate BAT. The DHA, EPA, and iodine in seafood stimulates BAT. Protein restriction at 18% in lean fit individuals stimulate BAT. Exogenous ketones and skipping breakfast will stimulate BAT. Nick's LDL levels were 95 before the ketogenic diet. Soon after implementing the keto diet, his levels rose between 384 and 545. After 16 days on this BAT activating diet, the levels decreased to 111. Soon after getting back on on the low carb diet, the levels rose to 421. The study shows that a bat activating diet can help maintain healthy LDL levels. The study on the screen shows that natural LDL levels should be around 100, as seen in this hunter gatherer data, whereas this is the abstract to that graph, whereas hunter gatherers are not inactivating their brown adipose tissue. These are the upcoming videos. I'm also going to show some slides of some of the upcoming videos. I'm not going to discuss them a lot, just want you to see them so you know what's coming. We are going to modify Dr. Baz's famous sardine diet, which is a bat activating diet and the reason it works so well. We're going to go over the prescription medications that inactivate bat, which includes cholesterol lowering medication. In another video, we're going to go over the medications that actually stimulate brown adipose tissue. Combining T3 with a high dose of DHA provides the maximum weight loss. The drug companies have already successfully transplanted new bat into old mice, extending their life. Lean mass hyperresponders have LDL over 200, HDL over 80, triglycerides less than 70 generally in lean fit people. The next slide is a list of health influencers who have either covered or endorsed the lean mass hyperresponder. The next list of health influencers are people who have disagreed or who have questioned the lean mass hyperresponder, which I suggest you hear both sides. Low carb diets decrease growth hormone, leptin, and insulin, while increasing myostatin, cortisol, and neurotensin, and CD36. A recent study shows low carb diets stimulate the following inflammatory markers listed on this page. All of the aforementioned inactivate brown adipose tissue. The inactivation of brown adipose tissue is what causes high LDL and insulin resistance. I'm going to cover CD36 and neurotensin in the next video, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but I just wanted you to see these slides to see what's coming. Both CD36 and neurotensin inactivate brown adipose tissue. We're also going to cover whether chronic high LDL is really safe and what will happen long term. Just considering whether LDL is causing plaque is short-sighted. The long-term risk factors need to be weighed. In the next video, we're going to discuss some of the other studies that have addressed the low-carb diet. I wanted you to see some of the slides of what's coming. The last slide is a bat-activating salad.